Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another one. Today we're going to be making something called Barilla Tacos. And uh, these are uh, made with like a red type of sauce and a bunch of, and a bunch of um, chilies. So what I've got here are um, two roasts off of the shoulder of a white-tailed deer. And then I've actually got two tongues from a white tail from white tail deer, and uh, I've never used I've never used tongue before. But yeah, as um, chaos initiator number one says, she was actually the one who encouraged me to keep the tongues um, to make this dish. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get these added to a uh, pot that is simmering, not boiling, simmering. Um, and we're gonna put these in for about 30 minutes. Let me touch it too. Oh, it's bumpy. 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 And what, um, what this does is in this simmer, um, those, the, the outer membrane will um, become peelable. And so we just need that, we just need to be able to peel that membrane off. So that's the first step in getting our preparation ready to go. And then while the tongue is simmering, we're just gonna um, take the top layer of silver skin off. You guys have seen me do this in a bunch of different cuts. So that's, there's not much to it. You just kind of get a knife under there. I like front shoulder cuts for this kind of preparation because there's plenty of connective tissue in there. And it's a muscle that works pretty hard on the deer. So, so it's a great muscle for um, anything that needs like a longer braise. All right, so the tongues are getting close. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the seasoning for the meat, which is gonna be this recipe is from Cowboy Kent Rollins. Uh, he's, his stuff is awesome. Um, and this calls for four pounds of meat, but I don't have anywhere near that that I'm gonna use for this. So we're gonna have this recipe. We got about two pounds of meat here. So, um, smoke pack Brika. Garlic powder. His recipe calls for a tablespoon of the mesquite seasoning. I don't have that. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon of what I do have, which is uh, catch and cook. Yeah. Catch and cook all terrain, which is a chipotle seasoning. Um, it's really good, especially on taco stuff. Called for a quarter cup of salt in his recipe, which is an eighth of a cup which is two tablespoons. So if you didn't know this, four tablespoons makes a quarter cup or half tablespoons. And one, two, three, and four. So while the tongues are finishing up, we'll get on to the next part of this. Okay, so this calls for uh, some some different uh, dried chilies, seeded and stemmed. Um, I've never worked with these, with this kind of a thing before. 
So it shouldn't be, I don't think it's gonna be that difficult to do, but I would strongly recommend using gloves. Um, I have no idea what like the capsaicin levels on these are. Um, so we're gonna just get these all. So we're gonna use uh, cascabel. That's what I'm working on right now. These are cascabels. Um, and then you can find this recipe online. As a matter of fact, I'll link it just to make sure I give credit where credit is due. Um, so we've got cascabels there. I don't think a seed or two here or there is gonna make that much of a difference. But better safe than sorry, I suppose. So as you can see, these are easy to seed. Um, and we'll show you the finished product here in just a sec. Okay, so here's our plate of seeded and stemmed chilies. We've got Ancos. Now we have the kitty. Cascabels. Guayillo. Guayillo. And our bowl, chile de our bowl. We're gonna get ready to uh, take the tongues out and then we'll get these in the same crock pot so they can, cause that's already at a simmer. So we'll get them started in there, get them softened up and then we'll get uh, the rest of our stuff going. All right, that was significantly less successful than expected on that tongue peeling deal. Oh well, I suppose so. We're gonna get this all mixed in here with our meat. All right, so our peppers are tender. So we're gonna strain this out. Okay. We're gonna add in batches to the blender the contents here. Ooh, that's hot. So, try to not overdo it. Okay, so now that we are all done blending, we're just gonna cook this for another 10, 15 minutes or so. Um, once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna let it cook for like 10 minutes, just get it down um, to the um, just thicken up just a little tiny bit. Um, we're heating up some oil in a cast iron skillet and we are going to start searing off the meat just until it's brown. As it browns, we're gonna cook this in batches, add more oil, and then we'll put it all in a Dutch oven. All right, let me show you a quick trick here. This is a hot tip on cast iron. When it's hot, this stuff scrapes up so much easily. While your pan is still hot, Grab your metal spatula and get all this stuff that's caked onto the bottom there, lift it up and out. There we go. All right, so we're gonna grab this. This is gonna go right over the top of the meat. And now this is gonna go into the oven. 350 for about two and a half hours, three hours. All right, so pardon the background noise, but there it is. Um, this is our shredded venison shoulder. You can see how nicely that pulls apart there. And then you're gonna wanna retain this cause you're gonna use this for uh, dipping and frying your, your taco shells. Um, we're gonna fry the taco shells in the cast iron um, with a little bit of that on there. And we're gonna top it with uh, half and half mozzarella and Oaxaca cheese. I gotta get some of this shredded up and then uh, we'll put a taco together and show you what they look like at the end here. All right, we've got our skillet nice and hot. So we're gonna go ahead make one of these. So you're gonna take a corn tortilla, just a little bit of that sauce on both 
both sides here. Oh yeah, mama. See, uh, I don't know how well you'll see it in the camera, but there's a bubble right there. That's a good sign. Couple crumbles of the Oaxaca. A little bit of the mozzarella. said she didn't want to try any of the tongue so I sorted out this is all shoulder meat that's gonna go on this one okay that cheese is getting nice and melty so there's that and give this Man kitchen spatulas is that you can use them almost like a burger press. All right, we're gonna take that off, slide it into our handy dandy taco stand. There you go. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I hope you give this a try. The tongue birria is fantastic and uh until next time tight lines tight chains shoot straight